Welcome back to Cryptos R Us. I am George. We are all George. In this stream, I'm going to be talking about what's cooking. What's cooking on Binance right now? And it's the two AMMs that everyone is talking about Pancake Swap and Bakery Swap. So these are two up and coming DeFi projects. These are DEXs that is blossoming up, that is shooting up to the moon. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what these two are what is an amm in the first first place why they're so hot and uh why they're going to the moon right now what's the reason behind it and what does it have to do with binance i'm gonna put it all together for you guys so you guys get a clear understanding so you could then decide whether or not you want to invest it's up to you <laughs> so thanks for tuning in as always smash up the like subscribe to the channel I have two streams every day, 11 a.m. and 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you hit that notification bell and follow me on Twitter and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of my videos. All right. A lot of super chat already. A lot of people that's in here already. Thank you. Uh, let's get started. Let's get started. Uh, let me change my screen here. All right. So what's going on right now is this. BNB, Binance Coin, Binance Smart Chain and a lot of DeFi projects that's on Binance Smart Chain is going up to the moon. In fact, it's going up so much so, I would argue that people are actually selling off BTC at this point because they're trying to clear cash to be able to buy BNB and some of these projects. I mean, Bitcoin isn't doing bad at all. It's barely down, but it's at 51,000 off a little bit from this morning, about 52,000-ish, right? And you know what? You know who, who is going up right now? Uh, you can see pretty much a sea of red except BNB. And it has been shooting up quite a bit. Now, I've created a lot of videos about BNB. And I'm going to get to that in a little bit. But I think most of you guys already know I don't have to explain who Binance is. They are basically the biggest exchange out there on Earth. They have multiple exchanges. Those of you guys that are in the U.S., for the most part, you could get into Binance.us. But there are some states that's prohibited unfortunately uh, but then there is binance and there's several others binance decks and strangely enough well it's not strange but for those people that have been seeking a place to buy bnb uh while not being on binance or binance us one exchange i do like quite a lot is kucoin so bnb is listed on kucoin just to let you guys know because some some residents like from washington state or texas you know, they reach out to me. They're like, oh, I, I'm banned from Binance.us. I don't know why Binance US is closed to some states. But I just want to give you that heads up. You can buy BNB on KuCoin on a competitor exchange. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Okay. So, let me get to it. Uh, Binance Coin is really on top of the moon right now. CZ has this ultimate plan. And it's all coming together really, really, really well. Now... A lot of you guys kind of missed this early on, but I'm gonna bring up this article here if I can uh, if I can find it. So this was back in September when DeFi was getting hot, but nowhere near as hot as it is now. And Binance and CZ already knew this is going to be the future. That DeFi is basically going to eat up his exchange and his chain. And because of this, he wants to jump in. He wants to steal the thunder, right? Because obviously DeFi since September, you could see this just been going up and up and up and up, right? So he definitely wanted to catch up. He wanted to get Binance Smart Chain to be utilized. So he created this $100 million accelerator to support DeFi projects, basically to entice um you know, project makers to come out with equivalent projects on the Binance Smart Chain. And not a lot, a whole lot of people paid attention because why would you pay attention when DeFi and projects like Uniswap, Aave, uh, Compound, Curve, Sushi, Synthetic, all these guys are all going up to the moon. So no one really paid attention until now because now fees are ridiculous, right? Those of you guys that actually tried Try to utilize any of these services, you'll realize that gas fees is insane. You know, a few weeks ago, it was like 20 or 30 bucks, which was insane. And then it went up to 50, $60. Then it went up to 90, $100. I don't even know what it is now. I don't know if it's, 
if it leveled out around 90 to 10 100 or it went up even more this is for every single transaction which means every single trade not only does it cost you it takes time for it to to confirm so this is why um recently recently that DeFi projects like these have stalled out they've stalled out for quite a bit now they, they haven't gone down but they're just they've been leveling out and the ones that have been going up uh guess what they're part of the <laughs> they're they're part of the 100 million accelerator so all the ones that have been going up including the two i plan on talking about today pancake swap and bakery swap they're part of this fund among other things i didn't even know after i looked at this list that this this uh DeFi pulse equivalency for binance chain projects only called DeFi station and this keeps going up and up and up this was also founded by the seller program so you can see cz has he has vision of where <laughs> where things are going so he set this up months ago when he knew things were going to explode and now it's really catching on all right so um i've showed you guys this before now i think this is the first time yesterday was the first time i showed you guys this and a locked in value it keeps increasing exponentially yesterday when i showed you guys this those of you guys that watch it was about 7.5 billion now it's up to 9.2 billion and it went up 0.2 billion within a matter of minutes before i just before i refreshed it was at like 9 billion and this keeps going up this is going up and up and up while DeFi pulse you'll see that this number kind of stopped and you could see the one day locked in assets in terms of growth kind of stalled maker and compound is still up four percent but you can see ave didn't move at all uniswap two percent curve sushi basically nothing synthetic went down badger dial went down so you could see a lot of these just kind of hovered but then you could see the ones on binance chain like venus pancake swap and others they're all up double digits right so obviously there's a mass exodus and change where users are coming to to similar projects that's much there we go yeah it looks like i had some internet issues hopefully that doesn't happen again um but i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep going um so you can see there is definitely a switch right now right so the two i want to talk about they're both amms so bear with me pancake swap which i brought up maybe a week ago a week and a half ago it is up a staggering 40 percent at this point 1.7 billion dollars and just to give you a perspective of how close that is to sushi swap they're like neck and neck pancake swap is now 1.7 sushi is a 1.9 so sushi have definitely been coming down and pancake swap is coming up and the other one that is up and coming is bakery token which is up a staggering 135 percent today because people are looking for cheaper alternatives so what are both of these are they just they're just memes right are, are they just cooking <laughs> are they crypto that's involved with cooking no it has nothing with cooking um but they're both ama amms and a lot of you guys don't understand what that is i didn't understand what that was uh, until not too long ago amm is not automatic money maker no it's automated market maker <laughs> so basically you think about it the best way to think about it is you have a robot that's go quote you a price between two assets and these assets are contained within liquidity pools and these liquidity pools are staked with tokens from users like you many people like to stake their tokens in because they're collecting interest so in a way it's like a staking it's like a staking uh project right of course there's a lot of exchanges a lot of financial apps that allow you to stake a lot of projects their native tokens allow you to stake within their wallets but you could also stake on uh on amms to collect interest sometimes the interest is quite high because you can move between liquidity pools and there's a whole bunch of things that they build in there to give you incentive to do so right so you have liquidity pools rather than order books from people and the amm is basically a dex a robot that's in between that finds you the best trading uh pair that's simply it that's simply what amm is and that's simply what pancake swap and bakery token is they are dexes and they're very very popular dexes people that want to get off of centralized changes like binance and like coinbase like 
uh, whatever else is out there, KuCoin or Hoibi, whatever, if you want to utilize a DEX to trade, you could do so on an AMM, right? So that's simply what it is. Now, Pancake Swamp, if you look at it, obviously a silly name, but that is primarily what they do. AMM, they're number one on uh, Binance Chain, but they also offer a few other things. I noticed that they do uh, NTFs. Uh, NFTs, I mean, I don't know why I keep saying NTFs. They do NFTs. They have like a lottery system. I don't know how how many people participate, right? But overall, uh, you could participate by staking in their liquidity pools to collect interest, and you could trade with them. That is simply it. And the more liquidity you have within an AMM, the better, right? That means there's basically without liquidity, the prices fluctuate too much. And the more liquidity you have, the more people that will use it. It's like a rolling effect. That's why Uniswap for so long has been a dominant DEX because the more liquidity you have, the better prices you're going to get. But now, you know, the up and coming players like SushiSwap, you know, they're losing their liquidity now to something like PancakeSwap. So that's why once you get game momentum, it just keeps going and going and going and going. So that's number one, PancakeSwap. Right. And I talked about it. I don't want to be one of those guys that just like jump on a bandwagon um, because I, I kind of figured this out that Ethereum based DeFi projects, they will go struggle a little bit because of high gas prices. So here's a video. Here's a video. I found the exact part that I talked about it. And I think some of you guys watched it. This was from February 4th. So it's only 14 days ago, about two weeks ago. And this video was labeled DeFi explosion is real and it's only going to get bigger. So Bitcoin holders pay attention. So let me play this little part for you. And this still holds true. And this is why PancakeSwap has been going up. One that I discovered today and I'm going to share with you guys. Uh, consider this a gift because I think they're going to go much higher is pancake swap yes pancake swap a really silly name just like sushi swap i know but pancake swap is equivalent of sushi swap and uniswap but but they're built um on the binance chain not ethereum so people that are frustrated with uniswap and sushi swap because of the high gas price basically a trade will cost you thirty dollars and if you trade both ways, it's $60 plus, and then you have to wait for confirmation, which is slower. A lot I've said, a lot of people are looking for alternatives, right? Turning to DeFi projects is not on Ethereum, and PancakeSwap is the biggest one on Binance Chain right now, and they are exploding because people are looking for alternatives, right? Yes, it's a silly name, but they are back. They got huge funding from Binance, and they're on Binance, which gives them pumpability, so... Uh, I'm going to share that with you guys because I think that th that project is going to be pretty massive in the future. And at that point, and at that point, Pancake Swap was at, it was already growing, there's no doubt, but it was at number 91 and it was at 300 million market cap. Today, it's at 1.8 billion. So that's roughly 6x, 600% within, within two weeks span. So yeah, you could definitely... Pick up a lot of promising projects, especially DeFi, like I labeled it. DeFi explosion is real. There's a lot of use cases. There's a lot of reasons why it's going up. And there's incentive for people to keep using it, especially people that want to get away from centralized exchanges. You know, I had an argument. This is kind of like a debate. So I guess you got to choose your poison because I, I, I've been saying, you know, for a while, like, hey, um, if your project needs to... If you want to have a project with pumpability, it has to be on Binance, right? And BNB does actually run uh, Binance. It's a centralized exchange. Obviously, they run Binance Chain, which is considered also centralized. But projects running on top, like PancakeSwap, is decentralized. It's getting away from Binance itself, right? So Binance obviously is introducing DeFi because they know it helps BNB. But also, the, in a directly, they're giving people option to utilize a decentralized uh, exchange. They rather you utilize a decentralized exchange on their own chain than utilize a decentralized exchange off of their chain, right? So it's like you pick your poison, right? So that's exactly what PancakeSwap is. So, I mean, that, that's why I've been saying CZ 
he has foresight. He saw this coming, which is why he had the incubator program. I mean, the seller program got this going because he knew that this was go ahead in this direction. And you know what? I don't think this is going to stop anytime soon because people are still looking for these decentralized exchanges, right? A lot of people hate Binance, Coinbase, and all these centralized exchanges. So where are you going to do? Well, you go move to a DEX, right? And that is what an AMM is all about. So that is when I first talked about Pancake Swap up 600%. So not too shabby, right? And then in this one, people laughed. This was February 11th. This is about a week ago. So not two weeks ago, a week ago. I also created a video saying Binance Coin is heading to $2,500. <laughs> and people didn't like that either. Um, oh. They thought that there's no way that could happen, right? In Binance, you know, Binance Coin, BNB well, has been around forever. Well, back then, Binance guys, was coming up. But uh, again, I saw the same thing that this was coming, right? This was coming and, um, yes, you know, people are going to be utilizing really BNB uh, and Binance Smart like Chain and Binance Chain know, overall. So Binance at that point is 126. Is now it is above 200 and it continues to go up. So I don't think that's going to stop anytime soon either. So... Yeah, the there's a chain, lot of, uh, oops, is there, a, sorry, hopefully that there was no, there was a lot of echo. Yeah, I apologize. I forgot to, I forgot to mute my thing. Uh, uh sorry. <laughs> sorry, kind of screwed that up. Kind of screwed that up. Uh, hopefully that's, uh, that's fixed now. Sorry, um, I always forget when I play a clip, I have to re-mute the clip. If I don't, then there's double echo, so I apologize for that. But, you know, back to what I was saying, when I talked about Binance Coin about a week ago in this other video, you know, I was saying the same thing. You know, Binance, don't ignore it. There's a mass exodus from Ethereum. They're going to move to Binance Chain, and you can see at that point it's $126. Now they're above 200 almost double, I think, within the next day or two Binance coin will probably be at 240 and then it would have doubled right so you got to pay attention there are times when you see um trenches right and I think one of those times is now not to say that Ethereum is going to be replaced with Binance smart chain but you got to realize a lot of these DeFi projects they're not going to get any better because they're at the mercy of Ethereum and the network and the network is just too darn slow at this point, right? So they're panicking right now in terms of trying to come out and move to different chains, second layer solutions. But in the meantime, competitors are not just twiddling their thumbs. They have alternative things. And that is why, you know what, there's a big shift right now into Binance Chain. Now, later on, there's probably gonna be a big shift into, say, Polkadot or big shift into Cosmos, which I covered in Patreon today. There could be a big shift into Elrond, a lot of these other blockchains. But right now, at this given time, it's definitely Binance. They are definitely leading the space. Now, now in case you're wondering about Bakery Swap, also, they were part of this $100 million accelerator fund. They were much smaller before, but they are part of it. They were funded in the same $100 million. I don't know how much they got, but they're, they're pretty much the same way, except you're not, you're not cooking pancakes. You're baking donuts instead, <laughs> and it's, it, it works the same way, but it does seem like their NTF, NFT's supermarket is a little bit more creative or more things. You can see a lot more Elon stuff in here where pancake swap is just like other stuff. Um, like like cartoonish and stuff. So I did read that bakery swap is more concentrated on on NF, NFTs, but overall it's the same thing. It's a DEX. There's liquidity pools, and you can earn, and you can stake, and you can trade. It works pretty much the same way. But people are paying attention because Pancake Swap is so hot. So people are looking at alternatives like Bakery Swap, which I also covered not publicly in my Patreon. Uh, not too long ago, and it is now coming up. But looking at the market cap at $194 million, this is still 10 times cheaper than Pancake Swap. So, can it climb up as high? Maybe. I don't know, but it definitely has potential, right? So, that's what Pancake Swap and Bakery Swap is. 
The easiest way to think about it is the DEX. And people are looking for DEXs. People are looking to stake because they could collect insane amount of interest. Why not if you're going to be holding, right? Um, and people are looking to switch away from Ethereum because of high trading fees and congestion and all that. That is why um, DEXs are super, super hot right now. And that is why Binance Chain and their DeFi and BNB overall is super, super, super hot. And if you want to learn more about this, then you definitely should watch my other video. Binance Coin is heading to $2,500, I think. That is not far-fetched in the future. All right, that's pretty much it. Sorry for the goof up at the beginning. So I'll turn it back to you guys for some Q&A. Uh, looking at Bitcoin, coming came down a little bit, 51,000. Nothing to be panicking at this point, right? Bitcoin, Bitcoin at 51,000. No need to panic. It's, it's just fine. It's absolutely fine. So um all right uh yeah let's do some let's do some q a i did miss some super chat so let me address those as well so the last one i missed a few so i'm sorry because super chats tend to disappear really quick so eric asks, how do i buy pancake well looking at if you don't know how to find where something is listed you click into cmc coin market cap you click on market and this is where you can buy it so like pancake swap they are of course on binance but you could also buy it on say gate.io which is open to us residents and a few other places you could also get it on the dex itself obviously right so anytime you're confused about any coin simply click on market then you know where to get it Thoughts on Chainlink, long-term hold? Well, yes, of course it's long-term hold. Uh, no, that's not what I'm gonna show. But yeah, I just created a video. I I'm pretty sure you watched it, uh, or maybe you didn't, but uh, I did create a video about Chainlink. Where, where is it? I don't know where it is. There we go. Chainlink, four days ago, done very well. Chainlink up to 700. So Chainlink is not gonna go away anytime soon. It's an Oracle, the biggest one, the most trusted. It's going to go a lot higher, just like BNB. So definitely take a look at that. What else is there? More Slack asks, thank you. You are the man to other crypto streamers. Make me want to dropkick my screen. I don't have a question. Buy some ADA with this. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Have you checked Ape Swap Pancake Fork? No, I have not. Uh, there's probably a lot of them out there, but I have not checked it. But right now, I'm not going to concentrate on a pancake fork. I think pancake swap still has a lot of potential, and this other one that's funded by Van Binance, Bakery Swap, is uh, is pretty darn good too. So I'm just going to stick with those two for now. Andre, how decentralized Binance Smart Chain? Right now, it's not. Binance Smart Chain is not is not decentralized at all. It's controlled by Binance as affiliates. I think that's the biggest argument against Binance is or utilizing Binance Chain is that it's centralized. But here's the thing: when you use a DEX on top of Binance Chain, a DEX is decentralized, so it takes power away from them. So I just got done saying that. So you're kind of choosing your poison. If you happen to use a DEX on top of a centralized exchange, it's still somewhat decentralized, not all the way. But the reason why Binance is doing this is because they rather you use a DEX that is on top of their chain than a DEX on top of someone else's chain. So they're playing in between right now, right? And maybe later on, I don't know CZ's plan. I mean, he might come out with a smart chain too, Binance Smart Chain 2, or he he upgrades Binance Smart Chain to become more decentralized, right? But right now, yeah, you could argue it is centralized. But DEXs in its nature is decentralized. So you're kidding getting like half, you know, middle way between the two. What are your thoughts on Shiba Swap, 6% on Uniswap? I did not look at it. I did not look at it. And if it's on Uniswap, 
it's probably Ethereum based. So I'm not I'm not gonna be looking at any Ethereum based DeFi project until congestion is is pretty much done. <laughs> Um, thoughts on Luna? Luna is a good project. Luna is a very good project. I think you're talking about Terra, right? Terra Luna. They're, they're considered DeFi, but they're really not. They're stable coin maker, but they have a lot of apps that utilize their stable coins, but they also do have a DEX. They have a derivatives platform, but most importantly, they have, um, they have support of some big e, e retailers in South Korea, which is ready utilizing uh terra k uh terra kwr so they're a good project they're a good project what do you think about the on-chain esports betting platform chain games well you know here's the thing i learned my lesson because i went in and i recommended the very first esports um crypto platform unicoin gold and I went into it because Mark Cuban, Ashton Kutcher, and all these famous celebrities went in. And Unicoin itself is a very popular esports betting platform. And uh, I thought that for sure would blow up, but it didn't. And they crashed and burned, and now they don't even have the, the gold part. It's just Unicoin. And uh, there was another one I invested in when it's the ICO that was also in esports. So I don't trust esports crypto right now although the two just makes perfect sense but i don't know what it is it's just that they keep going under so that that's my thought about it maybe it'll get better but right now yeah not so much for me at least <laughs> crypto future asks uh great show george as always wow he's up 50 percent over last week why what's going on i thought the project dead pump and dump dead cap bounce or something else uh, I, I tried to reach out to the team. Unfortunately, Wabi is really hard to reach the team, but it's a project I supported. They rebranded themselves to Teal. They, they're in the supply chain space. They kind of got wrecked because of the pandemic, and also they became an ultra low cap, right? But the good thing is they are still on Binance. And the good thing is, according to their CEO, it seems like they're still working at it. They haven't given up. So I'm trying to get more updates, um, from their team, but I haven't been able to. So, yeah. But you know, I think I think they could be coming up. They were ultra low cap. They were very very low. So you know, maybe they're just being pumped right now. Yeah, 26, 26 million, and they really haven't moved, especially compared to before, right? So they definitely have a lot of room to grow. But my guess is probably they're getting pumped and dumped right now. Alex, uh, Alex says, Nulls has such bad marketing. They, they are a great project with no one looking at it. Their marketing actually isn't bad. <laughs> They're very active on Twitter. Um, and they do have a ton, a ton of traction, but no one's looking at it. But uh, recently, they have moved up a little bit. So they're above 70 cents, which is good. They're making traction. If they could get up a dollar and keep going, I think they could be very good. And once people do pay attention to them, they could really fly. But right now, they're still kind of off. So um, got to wait for that. Got to wait for that. Uh, next one is Nick asks, I watch all your videos. OCD, making sure no changes. Plus the Super Chat, enjoy your videos. I appreciate it. I don't know. OCD makings. I don't know what that means. Like you have, o you have compulsive disorder. Because you have to watch me, uh, all my videos. <laughs> Uh, all right, Ryan, uh, I'm glad that that video worked. <laughs> that, I mean, that thumbnail worked. So make sure you scroll to the beginning and watch what I have to say. Uh, Matthew asks top three crypto to buy and hold. Love the channel. Uh, top three crypto. You got You got to include Bitcoin in there. You can't give up on Bitcoin. I think, I feel like too many people give up on Bitcoin too fast. You can't do that. Just like yesterday and the day before when Bitcoin pumped, you know, everything was draining out. You got to hold on Bitcoin. Number one, it's 50% at least in Bitcoin. And then number two and three, you know, it depends on your risk level. If you want to be safe while still trying to make good gains, then look at something like Binance Coin, which has been going up to the moon, Cardano, and Polkadot. 
I mean, those three are really, really fantastic. So if you have Bitcoin, Binance, Coin, Cardano, Polkadot, you're pretty much set. You know, risk level is really low or decently low, I should say. But, you know, potential is through the roof. Now, of course, you can add in other altcoins um, that are a little bit lower that could have bigger pumps or potential. Right. But then your risk level is going up there. So if you want if you want a good breakup, yeah, just split it among those four. That's pretty good. Have I heard of Mirror Protocol? Claudio asked. I am not. Mirror Protocol. Oh, yeah. Mirror Protocol was created was created by Terra Luna. So that's one of the one of the apps they created for use of Terra USD. See, that's why Terra is so good. So yeah, so I have looked into them before. Uh, here we go. Stellarport, it's a Dex on LM, XLM. Is it go pump next? No, because no one really pays attention to to Stellar at this point. Stellar is kind of neutral. Sometimes it pumps, but most of the time it just kind of stays there and does nothing. There's a lot of DEXs out. Doesn't mean that just because you have a DEX, it pumps. You got to have that network effect. Something I learned recently. You have to have that network effect. If you don't, it doesn't matter if you have the greatest product on earth. No one's going to get into it. Thoughts on Ori tokens getting listed on Pancake Swap this Saturday, 699 supply, Oracle type token. Yeah, I don't really look at the ultra low caps that's just being listed on a DEX like Pancake Swap. So can't really comment on it, but I can tell you I don't like any Oracle plays. I don't like any Oracle plays outside of Chainlink. Um, Jack Black asks, talk about the release of 2.0. How could it affect the entire top 10 coin? Well, 2.0, what? I'm assuming you're talking about Ethereum 2.0? Well, if it comes out in time, and Ethereum still has a network effect, which I think it will, it will be pretty significant. It can change the balance of things. But Ethereum 2.0 is not going to be done for quite some time. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Ethereum is a big dog, $220 billion. They have that network effect. Institutional investors are coming in, right? But you know what? Binance Chain, Cardano, Polkadot, and others, they're not just sitting idle. They're coming up really, really quick, right? So we got to see when Ethereum 2.0 comes out, right? Whether or not it could still maintain that network effect that, that um, you know, that, uh, that lead that they have. And if they could keep it, then they will become number two. They will stay number two, I should say. Darren, appreciate that. Um, Benjamin, also appreciate that. I missed a big one. Uh, Nick asks again, dude, like checking on Chainlink and BNB, even though I watched your video a week earlier, no disorder. Okay. <laughs> uh, will you look at Goose DeFi? Uh, Chuck asks, big super chat, thank you. Uh, will you look at Goose DeFi? It's on Binance Smart Chain. The symbol is egg. Oh, that's creative. <laughs> and it complements Pancake Swap is deflationary coin, and they use the fee to buy the coin. Well, based on what you said, it sounds pretty darn good already. And I do like this symbol. Uh, I'm a sucker for these awesome symbols. Um, yeah, their supply is really low. Really low. So, okay. It looks like they just copied Pancake Swap. The number one AMM <laughs> farming planet. Did they just like take this and just copy it straight from Pancake Swap? I don't get it. So they have a unique burning mechanism. They have a lottery pool, constant price pump. Uh, 3% will be used to buy. Okay, so they have a mechanism to really pump it. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like the fact that they just copy this. This is the same, looks exactly the same as PancakeSwap, except they just change it to, say, Goose Finance. So I can't say I like that at all. <laughs> No, unfortunately, no. Uh, Hodges asks, thanks for live stream. What are competitors to B-Pro? What, what is B-Pro, first of all? I have no idea what B-Pro is. 
first of all, I don't know what B Pro is, and why are you asking about competitors to B Pro when they're so small already? What is B Pro? B Pro Network is a code base for DeFi gaming, prediction markets, and more. So prediction markets, there's a lot, but I don't like any predictive markets. Um, gaming, there's a lot in gaming. I just, I don't know what kind of gaming, but engine is in gaming. So, yeah. All right, anything else? I think that's it, right? Is there another one? No, no, no. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Jason, Jason, don't ask about B-Pro George was smash your dreams. Hey, I, I call it like how it is, right? A lot of people, I realize a lot of people do just super chat because they want to shill some find or their bag holder. I get that, right? But every so often, there's some good finds that come out, right? Things that I haven't paid attention to. There's some kind of new thing, new project, right? So uh, I still do enjoy it. So, but sometimes it's obvious that they're just total total shit <laughs> and there's no even even no need to even look at it mark scott says uh lots of reef questions here i say watch it close M much negativity out there i actually don't hear much negativity i just hear a lot of reef shills out there that keep asking what do you think about reef what do you think about reef what do you think about reef and i think it's mostly because it's a DeFi play on top of polka dot polka dot there's not a lot of DeFi projects yet but Reef, I guess, is one of them, but not, again, it doesn't have that network effect. And it doesn't even seem like they're done, so you can't even really use it yet. That's, I think that's the biggest problem. New Mortal Kombat trailer is crazy. I haven't seen it, but you know what is crazy? Uh, uh, Kong vs. Godzilla vs. King Kong. That trailer is crazy. I can't wait to see that, and HBO Max is releasing it. HBO is just crazy. All the new movies on HBO Max, it is the best streaming service now you definitely want to just pay that eight dollars you get watch all the new movies before before uh or at the same time as it gets released to theaters so how things have really changed to the pandemic hellcat crypto gee what's your portfolio percentage it's not 80 20 more anymore no it's more like 65 35 um so I've been trying to go down to 50-50, but I still feel uncomfortable going down that low. So I kept the 65, uh, 35. But to be honest, because the altcoins have been moving so much, that 65, 35 is more like, you know, more like 55, 45 now. I haven't done exact calculations, but the DeFi parts and the altcoin parts have really caught up to Bitcoin at this point. So, but yeah, that's where I was at before. My friend Adam Wingard directed Kong vs. Godzilla. Really? Really? I don't know what Wingard means, but but if he's part of the project, it's pretty That trailer is awesome. But I, I don't I don't know why Godzilla turned evil though. That's the thing. So gotta figure it out. Oh, Wingard's last name. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Why isn't Burger Swap in the title? I haven't really covered Burger Swap. And plus, I don't think you could get Burger Swap on Binance. So if it's not on Binance, it, it doesn't have as much pumpability. So that's probably it. What about CRO? Crypto.com is pretty good. Although I don't use the app, but their app is pretty good. Oh, another one that that isn't related to Binance coin um, or Binance chain or anything is Voyager. Voyager, look at it, it's at $5, $5, right? So this was one of the projects that thank to one of you guys that asked me about, they're like, hey, what do you think about Voyager? As soon as I looked at it, I loved it. And that's why I created a video about it and that's not what I wanna show. So it was a while ago, but I created a Voyager one, this one, a thousand percent, all coin and it's V, right? And when I created that, it was kind of like the first of the kind because I haven't done like dedicated all coin videos yet. And people are like, did you get paid by Voyager? Did you get paid by Voyager? And I'm like, no, because it was just a good project. 
And at that point, when I covered it, it was like 75 cents. And now look at them, they're at $5. And that's because um, they're a great app, great exchange, great team, publicly traded. And plus recently because of the Coinbase because of the Coinbase um, announcement or declaration that they're worth $77 billion, people are putting a higher price tag to exchange tokens because now you could correlate what exchange is worth. So now Voyager is pumping up to the moon at $5 and they could definitely go more, right? So Voyager is actually another one too that I really like. UMA, Luna asks, UMA is on... Uh, Bitwise DeFi Index is a derivative project. Yeah, UMA allows you to create um, synthetic tokens like Wrap Bitcoin, Wrap Dogecoin, Wrap BNB, and utilize it in DeFi plays. So it's good. It's it's definitely necessary. But the thing is, though, I'm waiting for like a Binance equivalent of that because um, it's still like constrained on Ethereum. So Ethereum is still congested right now, right? So even though UMA is good, REN is good, Synthetic is good, Compound is good, these are all DeFi projects that have been doing really good. I'm wondering if they will continue or stall indefinitely until the gas prices come down. Um, this will be the last one. Harmony. I don't. I looked at Harmony before, but I forgot what they were. Harmony aims to offer a fast and open blockchain for decentralized applications. Okay, they have achieved secure and random sharding. So they're pretty fast and they're concentrating on DeFi. Okay, okay. Um, there's a lot of protocols out there that implement a sharding, which is also what Ethereum 2.0 is trying to do. And there's a lot of projects out there that, um, that has a network effect and they have a ton of dApps already. Um, you know, I could think of Solana's one, Elron is another one, of course, Binance Chain, of course, Polkadot. There's a lot of competition out there. So, um, and even Cosmos, Cosmos is getting in the game too. So, I uh, can't say much about Harmony at this point. Best place to buy Voyager is Voyager app itself. Um, Binance to have an old token from Ethos before BQX, but uh, the best place if you're in the US is again on Voyager. So, and I do have a code you can use to get twenty five free dollars uh, in my description. Oh, and by the way, I, I keep showing this randomly. I don't mean to, but I do have a merch store. So if you guys are interested, it's also in the description of this video. But anyways, that is it. That is it. Uh, what I want to talk about is what's cooking and Binance Chain is cooking, BNB is cooking, and of course, Pancake Swap and Bakery Token, uh, or Bakery Swap, I should say, they're both cooking for good reason because DeFi is simply exhausting on Ethereum. A lot of people are looking for cheaper alternatives. A lot of people are looking to stake for massive returns. <laughs> and, uh, and that is why both are going up. And there's a lot of promising projects out there too. That is up and coming, so you better pay attention because these can move very, very, very quickly. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, smash the like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Don't miss my stream tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. And, of course, check out my Patreon page if you want to talk with me and others and get some exclusive content. I did release a video newsletter today. And also check out my Teachable page if you want a crash course on Bitcoin. All right, until next time, until tomorrow, have a good night. Take care. Good night. Bye-bye.